This is the encounter coming up that we colloquially call the taco shop because of the taco restaurant that some of the fighting takes place in. When we drop in, the Seraphites and the WLF will be in hot combat. For the most part, you simply want to let them kill each other as much as possible. Okay. We can help this on a little bit. The important thing to know here is that typically, at some point, the scars are going to lose almost 100% of the time. It's essentially scripted for them to lose. There are some weird circumstances where other things can happen, but... I came up here to the back of this car because doing that provokes that WLF to leave from the spot where they were hiding and move forward. It helps speed up this fight. Don't go any further forward because sometimes they'll come running back and want to hide there and if you've taken that position they'll spot you and you know that's not good so we're just we're letting them fight they're killing each other waiting you know that's the hint the game is giving you they're killing each other good let the game do the work for you The one thing where you may want to help out here, because the Seraphites are pretty much guaranteed to lose this fight, and there is actually certain WLF that only spawn in after all the Seraphites are dead, you might want to help out the Seraphites a little bit by whittling down some of the WLF. The reason for that is it just means that there's fewer WLF to deal with at, after they're done fighting with the Seraphites. So, a few stealth shots, taking out one or two extra WLF just means you will have less to fight. One that I definitely like to take out is this one who hides behind the truck here. He, he'll just pop up and down in a cycle like this. We can wait and get him. There's an arrow in the truck in front of us, but this guy, you can see the WLF sometimes can come pushing out back this way. So you don't want to expose yourself unnecessarily. So notice at this point, the Seraphites have rushed the building. When they rush the building, they, they get slaughtered. Every once in a while, one will get stuck such that things don't finish. And you might have to go in and help it out. But for the most part, they should all die. Okay, so the firing has stopped and the WLF are patrolling. So the fact that they're patrolling means, yes, all the Seraphites are dead. Now, ideally, we want to pick these folks off without being spotted. Even if we are spotted, we do the same basic thing. Oop. So he's here. Going over here for the other arrow. Also trying, just trying to get out of the way of where I was originally. We do have a silenced pistol we can use as well. You can see we got that one. And we got the other. So I'm pretty sure that the ones we killed were already spawned in in the main fight. 
And now the ones we have are, are the new spawns that come in after everything is kind of cleaned up. If at any point you get spotted here, you can always break for the back. Again, don't just try to fight them up close. Run away, break their line of sight, you know, take some cover in the back there, lose them, and then come back and try again. Okay. I can't make another uh... Okay. All right. We might be down to just one left at this point. Okay, she's standing aiming. Yep, and that's everybody. As long as you're patient and apply the same strategies that we've been using all along for Abby's combat, this fight should be okay. So for this horse ride, you do have infinite ammo with your pistol. There's going to be a guy who will try to grab you coming up right here. I, if you're if you're able to shoot him, you can you can avoid that grab. I cannot ever manage to shoot him. The horse will gallop even if you don't hold L1 here, so you don't have to worry about that. Once we get into the field here, there are going to be three horse riders. The first two you have to kill. They can they can kill you. The third one will never hit you, so you don't have to worry about him. So this one. Those two you need to kill. This one, he'll shoot at you, but he'll always miss. Now the next guy, the next horse rider that we'll encounter, you don't have to kill him if you if you don't Lev will shoot him. However, he he can hurt you. He can do some damage, so you might as well shoot him. So this is another area where the easiest strat is simply to be patient and wait for as many of them as possible to kill each other, right? If you go early, you, all you do is alert them of your presence. If you wait, most of them will die. You have to help out a little bit. So this guy here is going to come and attack the Seraphites and is going to die. Like, suicidal attack. Now these two women that he just fought are gonna come out here and take shelter behind... Oh, one of them might have just been shot. One of them got shot early. Typically the two of them will both take shelter where that one is. What I like to do is I wait until they're both dead. So we're just gonna hang out here until she gets shot. There's some RNG here as to when they get shot. 
So just be patient. It will happen eventually. The reason that we don't go early is like that woman, if she sees us, she can come push on us. So we'll just, just let her do the work. You'll see when she stands up, she exposes herself to some fire. Eventually she should get shot by somebody. can take a while though. So if you are impatient, you can of course shoot them. However, if you do it with a non-silenced pistol, like, or rifle here, you will alert them to your position. So, you can also try moving forward early. If they don't see you, you're okay. Sometimes this will change, like, your movement will change what they're doing. But... She's just not dying today. I've got one total crossbow bolt here. I don't usually use the crossbow in this area. I'm thinking about killing her with it just because she's take it's taking so much time. Like, you can speed these things up. Absolutely. Anyway, once she's dead, whether it's from you or the more normal case, she, she normally dies much earlier than that. But we can come up here. We can grab that ammo. There's also a little bit. There's, oh, yeah, some explosives there. If you don't have trap mines, you can make some trap mines. You won't need four, but... We can tuck ourselves in this corner here. And you notice there's some new people that have appeared. This guy is another one that I want them to kill for us. It can also take a long time. I just don't want to use my bullets. don't want to alert the Seraphites or, or the WLS as to where I am. These two Seraphites to our right are just going to be in this perpetual firefight with this one WLF lady. Okay, so now he's finally dead. Now this guy seems invulnerable. I've sat here for like 10 minutes and he hasn't died, so I don't wait on him. I just toss a pipe bomb. We'll take him out. That doesn't reveal our position. Right. Now we want to get this lady here. If you can do it with a headshot like that, that's ideal. And that clears the left side for us to go over here. Okay. So now you'll see we've got two WLF that are here. There's also going to be a fight between a WLF and a Seraphite that will spawn in as soon as we go anywhere further forward for this. So what we're going to do is, again, use another pipe bomb to drop in to take out these two. Okay. Now we'll just get on my shotgun. So now you'll notice when we go forward, we have these two fighting here. The WLF always wins, 
And then once he wins, he will attack us once he sees us. So we can just take... Whoa! Okay. Who shot me? I thought I was in cover. Okay, look. Apparently I got shot by one of the Seraphites. I came out, must have come out too far. Uh, stay further back. Stay. I try to stay back here precisely so that doesn't happen. Right? Also, by the way here, you might as well use absolutely everything that you have in this area because this is the last chance you have to use it. Okay, so we go down here. We can grab this. So now, by going forward here, two new WLF, you can see them here, spawn in on the right. Okay, they were not there before. You weren't imagining anything. I want them both to die. If, if they survive, if they kill the WLF, they will then patrol for me. Okay, so Derek is dead. Now, she's taken a couple of hits. I'm just going to let her... Okay, so now she's dead. That's good. They don't always die. There are cases where they can survive. If you take out you know, the Seraphites before these WLF, the WLF will push you and it can actually be kind of a problem. Let's see how many there are here. Sometimes the WLF managed to kill a Seraphite or two before we get this far, so I'm just sort of checking. Do I have one on the left? Or is it just this... this guy here? You can see he's... he's sort of... yep. Whoop. I just hit the uh, post because I'm potato. Alright, so he's over on the right. Some of these guys can throw Molotovs at you, so you do have to worry about that. All right. I don't think I have... Oh, I do. There is a guy over there. Sneaky bastard. Okay. He was starting to duck down, but I think that was a scream of him dying. Alright, I think I've killed everybody on that side, which means we just have the guy on the left. Sitting right here, if there's anybody left on the right, is not a good idea. Yep, there's this one. Alright. And now, once Lev starts walking forward with intention like that, you know you're all done, right? So, so we're good. Like, there's stuff here, but you're not going to need it. You're about to lose. Abby's about to lose her backpack, so doesn't matter. Okay, with the burning building, it is possible to get a fall death here. You need to be careful. If we go, we just run here. You see? I just went and ran, and Abby just, with the, the stuff crashing down, you can see how Abby was flinching. Don't run immediately. That is the problem here. So with these falling beams, Abby flinches from the stuff that's falling. You oh. don't want her flinching when she's on a beam, because that can make her fall. So we're going to trigger this. That's triggered. So now that won't fall on us. So now we go. Now, the other thing is, when you stop, if you hit R2, 
Abby will sort of stop in place. So at the end of that path, right before you turn, just tap on R2, and then you should be safe when you go. When you are under here, on grounded, it's not going to give you a prompt, but you need to crawl forward. If you don't, the building will collapse on Abby and she will die. You also need to get out of here to save Lev from the brood. So this brute fight is pretty much the same rules as all the other brutes we've encountered. Now notice, he already is wounded, so he never starts with one. He always starts with two... two shots. And he goes to three. Okay? So just play it safe, one or two hits. Remember, don't spam the melee because the game, you know, it reads your entries and stacks them, so you don't want him pushing you off for these. In this phase, it's all three, it's all three hits, right? Now in this area, you do not want to hang around on this beach for too long. If you do, Abby will get shot. So you want to get under the docks here quickly. Stay right to avoid that. Get to the boat. And again, you have to push this boat. You're not going to get a signal ungrounded, but you have to push the boat. If you stand there after hitting triangle without pushing it forward, again, you will die. <laughs> All kinds of little trivial things can kill you in this segment of the game. So just be careful. It would be tragic to lose a perma run after you've gotten this far in the game through something as simple as forgetting to push the boat.